the belts. I couldn't find my real belt. I was trying to give y'all a little, little peek show. So I couldn't find my real belt. So I put, I put on a real belt. It's the functionality, okay? Not the aesthetic, okay? So just excuse this belt while I do what I'm finna do. Okay, y'all. This is gonna be a little, um, a little get, a little get it together, sis. Okay. Can y'all see? I feel like it's hard to see. Okay. So right now I'm just getting my um hair together so I can get ready to tie it down. So it'll be um, in the style that I want it. Just using my edge brush to get these edges out point so that I can tie this hair down um, while I clean my face and do my makeup. And um, just so y'all know, I'm putting um, Murray's beeswax on my edges. I like beeswax because it almost acts as like a really heavy grease or a really heavy edge control and and it doesn't pull out my edges like I noticed with gel especially with like protective styles it gets so like hard it gets so hard and caked on that it um sometimes if you're not like moisturizing your hair properly or what have you like it will pull your edges out so now i'm just going to take some of my africa's best braid spray and get all in there okay and then i'm going to take some olive oil for my scalp feels good when i put that on my scalp and then last but not least i can't believe i'm wearing this belt <laughs> Okay, last but not least, I'm going to put some of this gel um, on my edges. That's just for the hole, but not to make it do what I want it to do. That's just like a last little hole measure um, so I don't, you know, like get hot during the day and then sweat out my hard work. You know what I mean? So that's all the gel is for. I don't use the gel to swoop. I use the um, beeswax to swoop. I just use the gel to hold. Okay. So that looks really good to me. That looks really good. So now I'm just gonna tie my hair down. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, all I did now was like just tie um, the my edges down, and then I'm just gonna put my hair in a bonnet so it, you know it don't be doing too much while I'm trying to wash it and stuff. Y'all, this belt looks so crazy. Let me try to move that out the frame a little bit. Cause that belt look crazy. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now I'm just gonna put this hair in this bonnet like a dis and like a dis. The hair in the bonnet. Okay. Just like that. All right. Cool. We're ready to rock and roll. So now um, I'm gonna get ready to wash my face. Let me turn on the hot water. And I need my scrub brush. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let me turn off the water real quick so I can say this. So I have I have acne problems. Just zooming in so you can see. See all this? What this is? This is hormonal acne. I have a hormonal condition called PCOS. And it causes, um, there's lots of different side effects. Really, it's rooted in insulin resistance. So the less sugar I eat, the better my face is, honestly. If I just was like on a completely clean, plant-based diet, I wouldn't have any acne side effects, to be completely honest. But 
hey, I can't always live that way. Um, I work two jobs. I'm always on the go. So I try to do good about meal prep, but sometimes you just got to stop and get a number six from Sonic with a large cherry lime, an order of mozzarella sticks on the side, and then um, an order of French toast sticks to take on the road. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so whenever I try to do, okay, I do, but I can't always do it. So the key about the hormonal acne is it gets in deep like pockets in my skin and the key to eliminating that is exfoliation the better i do and i really don't have the wash that i like to use i have this um natural tea tree wash. this tea tree wash that i use from trader joe's that i love um but I'm out of that so I'm just gonna be using regular so really it's about the exfoliation the tea tree wash does help because it's antibacterial but um just I'm gonna get in there and get there real good so that's just a little disclaimer I had to tell you about the acne that you see and kind of how I deal with it um, the best results I've ever gotten when I was completely acne free I was on birth control and I was using proactive um, proactive I still stand for it like I like it I just can't afford those monthly whatever which actually once it's cleared up you really don't need it like that but I just don't have it right now and um birth control I'm not for it at all I had so many side effects and you know I'm young I'm childbearing age I still haven't had any children yet so I'm not trying to screw nothing up down there okay so here we go I just had to give y'all that disclaimer before um, I start washing my face Just gonna take a basic face wash. I'll just get it going. Oh, you start seeing that good sud action. That's what you want to see the sud. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to my forehead, but I like to do this part down here first to get it working real good. BTW, I got this scrub brush at Dollar Tree, y'all. See all that dirt already coming off? That's kind of gross, but it's a good thing. I got this little scrub brush at Dollar Tree. I like this one better, actually, than because I've had the automatic ones. Um, Those are just like... You know, this is like I can control it. So I like it better. We finally got a piece of the pie. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to randomly be breaking down the song because I love this thing and I sing it all the time. And like mad songs just be stuck in my head and just coming out. It's like song. Song vomit. Sonic. Cleaning up with comet. Earth is my planet. Name that movie. We finally got a piece of the pie. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll stop. Y'all know I'm silly. Okay, very good. So I just got through um, scrubbing my face real good. I still have a few blemishes. I'm kind of just, I like to um, go in after I scrub. And if there's any like black heads or white heads that can kind of be pushed up, I kind of, I just apply gentle pressure. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out. But if not, just leave it. It's not ready. But um, sometimes when you get through scrubbing like that, some of them are just at the very tip of like the layer of skin they just want to come out because i don't i hate like little white bumps just sitting on my face that is a huge like when they're white and ready you can see the pus i hate that shit i'm like just pop that shit get that shit out <laughs> honestly i wish i had clear skin but can't have it all right <laughs> um some people do and great for them but i don't okay so as you can see my skin already looks a little better so right before my pores seal off all the way I put some of this I learned this from YouTube I can't remember who told me this this was a long time ago when I was looking on exactly how to treat my acne um, but I love this stuff it's like a toner um, a primer um, a lifesaver all in one so after I get a good scrub on my face I'm gonna just seal off those pores with this um, this aloe vera gel 
I'll get that in there real good and let that dry. And then I also have this pond, excuse the thing. Ugh, I don't even wanna show y'all that, that's dirty. Um, That's really dirty, but I have that pond. It's the pond color correcting cream. It comes in like in a white and green jar. So I'm gonna just use this to moisturize and get good to my skin. I like this stuff because it's real smooth and soft and it fades those dark marks. Like honestly guys, if I didn't exfoliate and if I didn't color correct constantly, like my skin would be in, in high school before I knew anything about this stuff, my skin was awful. And I just used to like cake on makeup. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do so you know it's not perfect but it's come a long way and let me say this because I think about this a lot if you have clear skin just be grateful you know you don't have to put other people down or a lot of times in the makeup world and in the black community because I've been wearing makeup forever particularly rooted in my skin problems um I was put down and made fun of a lot, like especially like in high school and middle school, people would accuse me of wanting to be white or, you know, make fun of my acne. Like, trust me, if a person has acne, they don't want it. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that they don't wash their face, that they're dirty. Like, that's another misconception. People just think that you don't care about it. It's your choice and you should just do something about it. It's like, if I could have, if I could just wake up and walk out the house, like splash my face with some water, I would. I know plenty of people that my mom has beautiful skin. Like she just got to splash a little face on her water, a little cold cream, honey, and she ready to go. She has a beautiful skin and complexion. So I wish, and she, she didn't know. She's the one who started doing research about the PCOS. So thankful to her, but she used to just be like, girl, just get you some, uh, some witch hazel. Like, baby, witch hazel is not going to get rid of hormonal acne, <laughs> but she didn't know either. You know, so I'm just saying, like, if you have clear skin, just be grateful. Don't. No need to throw in the little jabs about, you know, this and that, and you glad you ain't got to. Well, we're glad for you, but be grateful you don't have to deal with some of the things that other people have to deal with. Okay. So, now we're ready to... That's kind of dried a little bit, you know, really you want to get like a good 15 minutes. So I'm going to give this a little bit more time and come back when I'm ready to do my makeup. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry, let me turn this down because I was listening to some music. Um, so that's kind of dry in. I really didn't rub in that cream no more than y'all saw me do. And um, it kind of naturally went into my skin. So upper lip sweating. I just want to give y'all like a close look. I oh, know what it looks like okay so now I'm ready for my makeup okay so I really don't do a lot um I just do the basic thing everybody do like but I'm gonna just show y'all what I do okay so first things first this is gonna be a really light like natural look because ain't nobody got time for it and really I'm getting um I'm just ready I'm getting ready to like get out of the house and run some errands. Shit. Just broke my fucking concealer stick. I'm getting out of the house, ready to run the house and get, or get out the house and run some errands. So I'm, I'm not doing a lot anyway. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna use my foundation. I've been like trying to, I've been really working on my skin. So long story short, I haven't been using them. I use this LA Colors foundation. Guys, this is like. No shade, because I love it. Okay, if y'all want me to sponsor you, I will. <laughs> but this is like bottom of the, the makeup spectrum. And I know that. You know what I'm saying? But I am I really have been wanting a very sheer, just enough to get rid of the blemishes and make my um, complexion even. Not necessarily trying to do a full coverage. So that's why I've been using this lately. And I really like it. It's like two bucks. Um, it just gives me a really natural look. So I always start by kind of pattern uh, my skin with the brush I don't know what that does but I like to do it um I need some oil for my face I, I'm not seeing my oil so lately for face oil I've been using this nuance by Selma Hayek I love this I, I honestly I need to get some more of this stuff I really love it it's all gone it's so smooth like 
oh and it's such a it's so lovely to put makeup on top of i wish i had some more my little sister gave me that um i really love that so i'm gonna get some more of that nourishing oil once again it's by some high i didn't even know she had a um, cosmetics line but I, good looking out girl because i love that stuff okay so now i'm just gonna give a few squirts onto my brush and then just start lightly i always work my way from the bottom up too because and we're not in a rush guys don't rush because the day that you rush is the day that you'll be looking crazy and have like a whole line or something that you don't want to be showing really it'll be out there looking real crazy okay so just get that you really want to get that neck to like chin line real smooth See how far I'm bringing it down? That's pretty far. But it already looks seamless. See? So. Don't think. If you wear makeup. If you wear makeup. Please don't think that you only have to put it on your face. Because you don't. You need to put it on your. Um, you definitely need to put it on your chin. And definitely need to put it on your neck. Just so it's like a nice okay so that's looking pretty good once again this is very sheer and not very expensive so um if you were wearing this for like a full coverage look you definitely would want to uh you would have to build this up but i'm not i'm not seeking a full coverage look i'm just seeking a natural coverage look and i want to be fully covered but in a natural way and i just want uh, all my blemishes and my complexion to blend out. That's all I'm looking for. I, I really am not trying to look like I have on makeup. If that makes sense. Okay. That's pretty good to me. That's pretty good. Not bad. Okay. So we're good. We're pretty good. Everything's pretty blended. See? Not bad for two bucks my cheeks are still a little like i call it gray looking it's really just the dark blemishes underneath that try to shine through they try to cast through if you have a thin makeup you wear makeup and have blemishes you know what i'm talking about so really i i come back and fill those in because you don't want those like shadows of, of blackheads to, to seep through but really that's good enough for me okay so next i'm taking another very affordable thing all these products i got well not all but this one and this one I got at Family Dollar. This is just the LA Color Girl. LA, LA Girls. LA Colors. I don't know where I got. Well, they got. Uh, they do have a brand called LA Girl. But this isn't it. This is the LA Colors Contour Stick. In the shade. It just has like a number shade. So it's not really like a. You know. A, a sandy brown. It's just CC S624. Okay. So. Um, this one is slightly, slightly, slightly lighter than my skin tone. I use this as a highlight. So after I do that, um, after I do my foundation, I come in from like right here on the side bridge of my nose. And I use this literally as people would like use that, the LA girl highlight. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see see the difference. See how that's dark and that's lighter. I love using this as a highlight, honestly, because it's so natural and it never like cakes. And it never it literally it just works really well. It never cakes. It never moves. Cause maybe because it's the same formula. Cause they're both LA Girl, or because it was made to be a contour stick, so it's not that thick but it's not that thin either it's perfect see you can kind of see where it starts here i love using this stuff guys so now i'm just gonna take that i have like this blunt like unicorn brush this blunt and i'm just gonna pat that in before i set it so you really want to get that nice and make sure that I haven't really said about a lot of the way that I stroke. 
um, the way that I use the brush stroke, sorry y'all, uh, the way I use the brush stroke, but you want to do light tapping motions to just get it in each and every little pore. Because as the day goes on, that stuff will start looking crazy if you have not patted it in your skin properly. Like, that stuff will start looking crazy. I'm only saying it from personal experience. Okay, so... Um, what I'm using now is my Ben Nye. Gotta get some more of this. Um, to, this literally lasted me like two and a half years, guys. <laughs> like, look, I bought this in like 2017. Um, so, yeah, this is worth it. This is Topaz Luxury Setting Powder. Um, for a chocolate girl, it's perfect for my skin tone to set with. And it's nice and affordable. I think that that, look, that bottle was about, I think it was like $8.99 on eBay. Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. So, right now, I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. Starting to look good already. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 I just want it to be all the way in. So I, I t it, look, it don't look like I'm doing nothing, but it really is. If you wear makeup, you know. Look at, look at how that's looking already, you guys. No, seriously. I know y'all see that. See the difference? Okay, so yes, I'm using very cheap products. Once again, you, you just need to know how to put them on. I love expensive products too. Don't get me wrong. A bitch will go to Ulta and damn near break the bank and the back. But um, you don't have to at the same time. You don't have to. So I'm just doing the same thing to the other side. Getting that nice. And pat it in. Use a little bit more. Damn. Use a little bit more um, powder. I'm running all the way out of that. I literally have to like order some more today. Because I'm not going to have no more of that powder. And that's like a staple. I have to have that. Make sure you get off in that nose crease too, girl. Don't nobody have time. Get all the way off in that nose crease. But this side is starting to look really good too. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to take, I just dropped my Fenty Beauty. Um, I had the little, um, the little three-piece contour set. And it was made up of cinnamon, espresso, and I can't remember what the highlight was called. The highlight was creamy. I love that highlight. I gotta get some more of this, honestly, too. But uh, I'm just gonna use espresso. I put it on my brush so I can, um, I can kind of manipulate how it goes on. This stuff I love. So I'm kind of like pucker my mouth a little bit so I see where my cheeks start to end in. If that's right where you want to put it, right where them cheeks ended at. And then I'll put a little bit on my forehead too. But mainly focused in the cheek area. See? It looks a little harsh right now, but we're gonna soften it out. This is good for me because I'm a cabbage patch baby, so baby, I don't I really don't have not until I smile, I really don't have much of a definable cheekbone slash line. So this stuff like this is like I love it. See? Giving a little no cheek me a cheekbone. I'll bring it down a little more. See? Okay, so now I'm going to take that original brush I had and just kind of bring my highlight down onto that contour a little bit. Like, just kind of seamlessly glide it. So you can't really see where one starts and where one ends. I'm gonna 
just do this to my own record. Now, this is something that I go back and do after each step, and I feel like it does make a difference. I just kind of take my brush and smooth out each portion of the look so that it's seamless and it's not like contour, highlight, you know, it just kind of starts to look more like skin. So now I'm going to take, um, I would have set my contour, but it's not that big a deal. I'm taking my Ben Nye. This is all the way. This was chestnut, though. I know that for sure. This is luxury setting powder, too. And chestnut, this is my perfect color. I love this. Once again, this la I bought these two at the same time. So that's lasted me about two years. And, like, I swear by this powder. I always knew about this powder because I'm a stage actress. And this really is an acting makeup. Like, actors use Ben Nye. Uh, because you know it shows up easy on stage it's cheap it's just a really good product so I always knew about it but um, when I saw the craze the banana powder craze um, from a few years ago on YouTube I was like if, I, if they use that to set the highlight with I can use because Ben Nye comes in like every color known to me so and I always knew chestnut was my perfect color so I was like I can use that in everyday life I'm, who gonna handle who you know so it's giving it a very nice see you kind of see that contour but it's very seamless okay so it's giving it a real nice look here our look is coming along very nicely so I'm gonna just put a little bit more of this setting powder on here just to set 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 because we don't want our makeup to go nowhere and I kind of used maybe a little bit of extra setting powder because my foundation wasn't that full coverage. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now let's work on our eyes. Uh, I'm going to do a simple eye look so nobody got time. My eye shadow brushes are soaking right now, so I'm just using my finger. It's real simple. So I have this natural Oakland eyeshadow. Ocalon. Ocalon. I love this like this was like four dollars at um Burlington Coat Factory and it's really nice it has some nice colors some great pigmentation like I love this palette I came with a really nice brush too that actually my friend stole but um yeah it was a good came. it was a good little set for the price point so I'm gonna just take my finger and I'm gonna go in with this um it's like this third well this is missing this was white though I never used it it's this color right here third from the I guess it will be left to y'all but whatever it's this like cinnamon color that's gonna be my transition color so I'm just taking it I start just on the lid I wish it was I had a brush it'll be easier to show but I start on the lid I have hooded eyes so you got to be real careful how high you take it on hooded eyes because you really don't have that much <laughs> lid to work with anyway so you have to be really careful So I just start on the lid and I bring it up. So right now it's on the lid. I'm gonna just slowly build onto the lid and then bring it up as I come up. I used to be watching YouTube too. I'd be like, how do those girls, how are they doing eyeshadow with their fingers? But honestly, once you learn where to put it, you can use anything put it on you can use a freaking toothbrush if you needed to you just need to know what you're doing with it okay that's pretty good for me that's as high as I need it to be I wonder if y'all can see that that's pretty good so I'm gonna go to the other eyelid and do the same thing start right there on that lid and then sort of kind of slowly bring it up Now this part I do wish I had a brush with because I'm gonna try to like use my shadow as kind of a liner so I do wish I had a brush right here but oh my upper lip is sweating sorry it's hot in here y'all I have my heat up too high okay so now 
I'm gonna take this dark brown color and just put that in like the crease or yeah in the crease to just deepen that look up just a little bit I'm just putting that along the edge though because I don't want to get rid of my copper color too much this is just like deepening the look in the so we're just aiming mainly for the crease here with this with this part of it and it is part like this is harder with the finger because it's harder to isolate what you're trying to do okay good that's pretty good so now i'm just going to take this little gold color try my best to line it just along the very bottom of the lid with my finger see my fingers fat so it's coming up a little bit higher than I wanted to but that's okay so it's pretty okay so eyes are pretty much done I'm gonna put some lashes on. They were almost completely done, guys. It don't take me long at all to do my makeup, cause girl, we don't be having time to play. Once again, I'm gonna just go in and re-smooth all this out, any fallout. I just like to clean up each part of the look after each little section, I told y'all that. So now I'm gonna put on my lashes. I use hair glue. I hate lash glue, cause to me it just simply does not get the job done. Uh, so I put a thin little line. I let it dry for a little bit. I let it dry for just a little bit and then I'm gonna put the lash on. So that should be dry enough. You want to kind of push it up into your lid but I know some people are intimidated from doing it like how you don't poke your eye out it's just practice honestly like you don't none of this stuff you just wake up knowing how to do nobody that I know that can do makeup or any sort of like beauty stuff they didn't just come out the womb doing it like you gotta practice, but I will say that those of us in our beauty community, like, we're, we're fearless because, as I mentioned before, you do face um, ridicule from others. Like, sometimes it's gonna be looking crazy, you know? Um, especially when you're learning, but you just gotta keep working and keep practicing, and eventually you'll get it together. So, look, people, what? Okay, so this is looking really good to me. I just wanted to pick this up so y'all could kind of see. See, I did like a natural little eye look. Um, the last thing I'm gonna, the last little part I'm gonna do is my highlight and then that's it. So I use this loose, I swear by this stuff. Guys, I got this at the beauty supply store. was so cheap like compared to how much highlights can cost and like it's a loose powder so you can use it as an eyeshadow you can use it wherever you want you can use it on your body it's nice and pigmented and this is gold this is bronze this is the perfect color for my skin so I just gotta blend that in I put it I try to keep it right on the tip of my nose Okay, so that's really um, most of the makeup look completed. Um, now I just have to finish my hair and uh, put on my clothes. So I'll come back whenever that's done. Okay, everybody, I'm finished. This is just a lightweight little um, go run errands look. 
I have on like this little black um, like workout hoodie thing and then some black tights and some black boots so I'm about to go and run my errands for the day and I just wanted to show y'all that um, put on your makeup and stuff doesn't have to take a long time it doesn't have to take expensive products you just have to know um, how to apply them and how to use them so I hope y'all have a great day thank you so much for tuning into my channel um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you later. Bye.